Good afternoon. I'm Mike Noondorfer with Advanced RV in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm in Escape. Escape is a super high top, so you can see this will be the ceiling height. We have about four or five inches above my height in here. And we're doing several things that are new technology in Escape, but one of them is all the plumbing is going to be interior inside the, the motorhome. And even inside the motorhome, it's going to be run with the glycol. So when we're heating the motorhome, we're actually heating the, the water system. So another thing we've done is always trying to save space. We put the hot water heater, which is a glycol hot water heater with the hot glycol coming in here. It's a plate to plate heater. And the, and the glycol, after it gives up its heat to the water, uh, the, hot, the cold water coming in, the hot water going out, uh, it goes on and heats up the rest of the van. This is an attenuating valve which adjusts the temperature of the hot water uh, for washing and showering and stuff. So the panel goes on here, there's a, a door that opens up and you have access for winterization. You also can turn off with these quarter turn valves you can turn off the water to the outside shower in the winter so that doesn't freeze up. The glycol comes up. The water heater keeps this area warm. There's also insulation behind the aluminum plate that supports the water heater and the attenuating valve. The water, hot and cold, comes out here, crosses under the floor to go to the sink. Now you might ask about how this keeps from freezing because it's not too much above the, the steel floor of the chassis. What we're doing is running a, a, a resistance wire, a thermostatically controlled resistance wire to add just a little bit of heat as it crosses the floor if necessary. So that will be heated, but then this uh, water as it goes from front to back is, is in front of the insulation of the van. This is thinsulate insulation that's stuffed behind all the plumbing. So here's the hot glycol line that's going back to the heater and these are the hot and cold lines that come under to the sink on this side and then the glycol runs right with it inside of the insulation all the way to the back where the glycol comes through the floor and this uh, plumbing goes to the uh, uh, bathroom hot and cold for running water there the glycol then goes under chassis heats uh, comes back up through to a, a furnace on the other side that furnace uses uh, convective heat to heat the chassis. We also sometimes put a second uh, forced air furnace in behind the, uh, under the sofa bed. And uh, then the glycol from there heats the fresh tank and goes back to, to get more heat from the uh, diesel fired uh, furnace. So this is a, uh, we're looking forward this winter to uh, Marsh and I to testing this at the coldest weather we can find. Uh, we in the standard one where we just where we ran these under chassis but isol insulated them uh, with the glycol. We've been down to 10 degrees. Other clients have been down to five degrees without freezing. But uh, we'll have uh, resistance heaters on the fresh tank, the black tank, and the gray tank, and also the return waste heat on the glycol line to heat the fresh tank. So we're real excited about uh, doing some serious winter uh, camping, maybe cross-country skiing in Minnesota this winter. So uh, thanks for listening, and if you have questions, give us an email or contact us, or come and visit. Thanks again.